Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to use drum notation software to write out your own drum beats, as well as give you some ideas for new drum beats you can have a go at and to play around with to make them your own. If you don't know anything about reading drum sheet music yet, then I'd recommend you watch my how to read drum music in five minutes video, as this will give you a starting point for understanding everything that we're going to be talking about in today's video. I'll attach a link to that video uh, in the top right hand corner. And if you want to find out more about reading drum sheet music in detail, I've written an in-depth guide that I'll also link to in the description. Uh, but if you've seen drum music before, then today I'm going to teach you how to write it out using a piece of software called Guitar Pro. There are lots of different pieces of software out there that you can use, but in my experience this is one of the easiest to use. And you also get a free trial so you can have a go at writing out your own drum beats without it costing you anything. And the point of me teaching you to do this is that you can use your own creativity to make up new drum beats and then you can hear them straight back because the computer will play them back for you. Uh, so it really helps develop your creativity and it's a lot of fun. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is download the free trial of Guitar Pro. Uh, I've attached a link in the description. Um, anyone with a PC or Mac can do this uh, and follow along with the video. So once we've opened up Guitar Pro, the first thing we want to do is click on New File and then it asks you what instrument you want and of course we're going to click Drums and Drum Kit and there's nothing else we need to change on that menu so then we click Create and we're given in the top corner here our first bar of music which you can see. Uh, we're going to change the zoom by clicking this magnifying glass up here and just clicking on 300% and that will make things a bit easier to see. Okay, so we're ready to put some notes on the stave. So the first thing you need to do is just use the up or down keys on your keyboard to move this little finder box to the right line and then when you're ready to enter a note just press enter. So I've added a bass drum there at the bottom which you can see. The standard note value you get is a crotchet, but if you want to change the note value, you just have to use the plus and minus buttons on your keyboard, and that will change them. So plus is for faster notes like quavers and semiquavers, and minus is for slower notes like crotchets and minims, and so on. Alternatively, there's a menu at the top where you can press note, and then go to duration, and then you can choose the note value that you want the note to be. Uh, the only other thing you have to do is press the right arrow key on your keyboard when you want to move to a new note and then you just enter a note again in the same way. So if I make a little beat here with bass drums and snare drums so when you want to play that back you just click at the start of the music and then you press the space bar. So here's what that beat that I've just written out sounds like. And the way I'm making it go round and round is by using the loop function, which is up here. You can just see this little symbol here. So just click on that if you want to hear your beat round over and over again. Uh, don't worry, we're going to do some much more interesting beats in a second. If you want to change the speed, uh, or the tempo of the beat, you just click on this number at the top and then you just type in the number you want. So I could go a lot slower here, 70 beats per minute. The higher numbers are faster, the lower numbers are slower. So I'm gonna go for 70 here and here's how that changes what the beat sounds like. You can hear how that's much slower. If you want to delete a beat, all you have to do is click and drag across the beat you want to delete and then just press backspace to delete it. The drum beats I'm going to be writing out are going to use semiquavers, so if you're not experienced with using semiquavers then I recommend you check out my in-depth sheet music guide uh, in the description box below. If you want to write any of these out with ride symbol, there's just something slightly different you have to do for ride symbol. When you're on the ride symbol line, you just want to press 2 
on your keyboard rather than enter uh, because there are a few different symbols that sometimes sit on that line. So let's go ahead and start writing out some drum beats. Uh, I'm going to use hi-hat semiquavers here. So to get from the crotchet note value to the semiquaver, we just press the plus button twice. And then I'm going to add in 16 in total hi-hats. These hi-hats are counted as 1E and a, 2E and a, 3E and a, 4E and a. Here's what they'd sound like. And again. And one more thing I'm going to do is just highlight these and then go onto Note, Design, and Invert Stems. And that just makes it a bit easier to read, makes it look a bit better. Now it's time for you guys to get creative and play around with this. So if you write out those hi-hats uh, in semiquavers, then your creative challenge is to create a beat using bass drums and snare drums under those hi-hats. So here's an example for you. And I'm just going to make sure that my loop is on and also I'm going to click on this bar, this bar 2 that we don't really need, and I'm going to go on bar in the top menu and click on delete bar just to get rid of that so it loops around nicely. So here's how this beat that I've just created sounds. And so on. So you can practice that beat at home if you like, you can take that away and have a practice, or you can invent your own beat. So let me give you one more example that you could have a go with. All right, here's another one. There's so much potential for using your own creativity to come up with different ideas. And we're just going to put it in this mold for now, these hi-hats in 16th notes over the top called a 16th note groove. Um, it's just a really nice way just to be able to put notes in and experiment with them. And when you feel that you've got uh, a groove that you're really liking, then try and take it to the drum kit and see if you can play it in real life. Uh, if you're struggling to find a beat you like, uh, there's a few tips that are, are kind of useful. Uh, try putting a bass drum on one and three and a snare drum on two and four. That normally sort of locks in the beat and makes it sound good. Um, then you sort of just add other basses and snare drums wherever you want. So there you have it, how to use drum notation software to write out your drum beats. If you've enjoyed this video, we'd really appreciate it if you could give us a like and subscribe. It just helps us keep putting out these videos. And do check out our next video where we'll be teaching you how to add tom-toms to your drum beat to add lots of variety and eventually come up with some great drum fills.